right, how's it going everybody? Thanks for checking back in for another one number YouTube video. Uh, we're gonna do another Tableau tutorial today. And what we're gonna be looking at is how to compare um, every day of the year to the equivalent day from the previous year. And I'm not saying the exact same day, but the equivalent day. So like, how did the first Monday in August compare to the first Monday in August of last year? So you might be thinking like, what are we talking about? This seems like a very minute distinction. So I'm gonna use yesterday as an example. I'm filming this on Sunday, August 8th, 2021. And yesterday was um, Saturday, August 7th, 2021. Now ignore the fact that I've got future data in here that runs to the end of the year. That's just for visual display purposes. Um, so the 7th of August, 2021 was a Saturday, right? So I'm just going to use Tableau's little calendar here to be able to uh, demonstrate this. It'll make it a little easier for me. Right, you can see August 2021, 7th is a Saturday. So if I go back to last August, August 7th was a Friday. So if you're in a business where you want to be comparing like weekdays, that doesn't really make sense to say compare to the exact same day last year. You actually want to compare to... August 8th. So August 7th, 2021 would be roughly the equivalent of August 8th, 2020, because those were both, you know, they're just a one day offset as far as the calendar, uh, but they're the same weekday. So dates are kind of a funny thing. Um, the it's kind of simple way to think about this is that there's 52 weeks in a year and seven days in a week. So if you want to find the equivalent day of today, next year, you add 364 days, seven times 52. Don't worry about that too much. That's just going to come into play in some of our calculations. So I wanted to cover that ahead of time. So with this chart that I'm showing you here, when I see that August 7th, 2021 has seen a 212% increase in sales, I am saying that August 7th, 2021, we had $3,400 in sales. August 8th, 2020, the equivalent day, we had $1,115. So that's where we got that number. Okay. So I'm going to show you sort of an intermediate step of how we would get to this. And then we'll actually run through the 10 steps that it takes to get to something like this. Okay. So if I'm showing you only the sales values, um, you can see it would look something like this. I'm going to blow this up to full screen so the numbers aren't getting cut off. And then this is the numbers we were just looking at. So I need to set up a, um, I need to set up some calculations in worksheets in such a way that I've got these values side by side. So I can use a table calculation to tell Tableau, hey, what's the difference, percent difference between, you know, this value and this other value. All right, well, let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to do a, uh, a new worksheet here. So I'll call this um, sales, you know, equivalent day comparison year over year. Okay. Now, the first thing that I need to do is figure out what is my current year. Okay. I'm just going to do this with a parameter. Uh, whoops, that's a calculation. But you could do this with a calculated field. You could do this by pulling the year of the today function. Um, but I'll just call this current year. And I think about how I want to set this up. It's going to be an integer. I'm not going to get too fancy on this. I'm just going to create a list of values. So let's say there's 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. And because I'm crazy and I don't like seeing those commas, I'm going to try and get the display format customized. So no decimal places and no thousand separators. Okay. So I'm going to show my parameter and make sure that current year is set to 2021. Okay. So now what I need to do is to create a calculated field that figures out if a, let me think about how to say this because I'm going to get myself twisted a little bit here. I need to set up a calculated field that will add 364 days to a date if that date is from last year. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to create a new calculation that I'll call same day. Okay. So I'm going to say, if, oops, here we go. Okay. 
if and only if the year of my date field okay, is equal to the parameter I just created, so the current year parameter, then give me my date. If that's not true, give me my date plus 300, oops, there we go. Uh, give me my date field plus 364. Okay, and then I just need to convert this into a date format for Tableau, and then I'll walk through all this again. Okay, so what's happening here? So I'm saying if the year of the date is the current year, AKA 2021, that's fine. Just give me that date field. Uh, but if it's not, if it's a different year, let's say 2020 or 2019, then add 364 days to that date. Okay. So step two, step one, parameter. Step two, done. Step three, we need to create something called relative date, okay? Okay, so for the relative date calculation, what I'm going to be trying to accomplish is I'm going to be trying to create labels which will tell me, is this value actually from this year or is it from the previous year, right? Even though I just added 364 days to last year's values, right? So something that said August 8th, 2020, because of that same day calculation would now say August 7th, 2021. Hope this is making sense. Um, so I'm going to say if the year of my date field is equal to our current year parameter, then give me my date. That's fine. Otherwise, use the date add function to remove a year from the same day calculation. I'm sorry, I need to wrap this in the date function. Now I'll be providing all these calculations to you in an easy to find place in a little bit, so you have those. Okay, so now I want to create a calculation which will only keep my current year and my previous year. I'm gonna use this as a filter, okay? So I'm gonna create a calculated field I'll call current and comparison year only filter. So for this purposes, I just need the year of same day. Again, that's the one we did the plus 364. So the year of the same day needs to equal the current year parameter. Okay, so let's just start with this. We've got some more steps we want to do, but I want to actually start building out some of what's happening here so we can see this all at once. So you can see that based on my original worksheet, month of relative uh, date, year of relative date, and day of relative date are on columns and rows. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I remember this correctly, uh, month of relative date, it's going to go here day of relative date here it is it's going to go here and then i think year is going to go before i actually think after month let me just double check that yep after month okay then year of relative date is going to go after month okay so now i could do things like i'll just i'll just start by creating kind of the sales text table that we saw just for the purposes of kind of looking at these values and we can go find the, uh, maybe we can find that example we were looking at with August and just see how this is shaping up so far. Cool. So it's starting to look the way we want. So we've got August 7th, 2021, 3480. August 7th, 2020, it's really August, uh, is 1,115. Okay, so a couple things. Now I can use my current and comparison year only filter. Say true. And that should knock it down to just 2020 and 2021. So we're getting somewhere. Um, so we're about halfway there. Now what we need to do is to get a calculation that finds the percent difference. And we need a way of hiding last year's column. Okay, But not just hide 2020, right? Because then this will break in next year, 2022. I want this to be more dynamic. Okay, So I'm going to create something. 
or calculated field called only show current year. Okay. And so the way this will work is I will say look up the minimum date part year of relative date and make sure that that equals my current year. Okay. So I'm going to hit OK. And before I apply that, I'm also going to create the calculation for my sales growth percent. So this will just be kind of your classic um, calculation and tableau, uh, table calculation, I should say. Actually, we could even create this using the table calculation function. So if I go to the sum of sales here, I could hit the drop down, do a uh, table calculation for the, uh, what would it be, percent difference from, and then let me think about how we would need to set this up because it can't be table across, it might be pane across. I think that would do it, pain across. Now I can see these percentages showing up just for the 2021, which is great. Okay. And I think about what I want to do with this. So I'm going to save this. Percent difference calculation. I'm going to format this as a percentage with no decimal places. Cool. It's getting real close now. So let me go ahead and flip back one more time to kind of the beginning. So only show current year true. Let's go ahead and add that to filters. Oh, I think I need to, uh, I just thought about that. Let me double check where I have it here. I think I need to set the scope and direction for it. So give me just a moment on this. Only show current year. I'm going to double check my scope and direction here. Yeah, this is where it gets a little, little complex. That's okay, though. So I'm going to say compute using, yeah, year, month, day at the level of day of relative date. Let's just start with that. I'm actually going to screenshot this so that I don't have to flip back here too many times. And, uh, you know, the nice thing for you watching a video is you can pause it at any point to be able to grab something. I'll also be providing you a workbook of what I'm doing here, as well as all the calculations broken out. So this might be a little bit simpler for you in some ways than, uh, than it might be for me. Okay, so I'm gonna edit my table calculation. So I need to set it to at the level of day of relative date, relative to, I'm gonna say Q1, January 1, if it will allow me to. Okay. And then restarting at every year of relative date. And I think that should be good now. So I'm say just true. Fingers crossed this keeps, haha, just 2021. Okay, I think that was the, the hardest part. I don't even think I did a very good job of explaining that. Do as I do. Don't try and follow what I say. Hopefully that works out for you. I'm always here if you need help with that. So now, but we're pretty much there, right? There's there's definitely some things we can do um, as far as you know how we want things to look. Um, but if I just do things like okay, I no longer see, need to see my year of relative date on columns, so I can deselect show header there. Okay, so now I can see all these percentages, and then to get it the way I had it at the beginning, maybe I put sales percent difference on color and turn this into a highlight table, so I can see you know where are those biggest growths or drops. I think I'd set the color scheme so that they, you know, the blue tops out at 100% or whatever. And then kind of a bonus piece, if uh, this isn't already long enough for you, which is if I want to have some calculations which specifically just show me current year or comparison year. So when I hover over, I can actually see the sales values. Um, I, of course, can do that. So I'll call one current year sales. And this will just be sum of sales. Keep it simple. Okay. Put that on tooltip. And then I'm going to create a calculation for a comparison year sales. And I'm going to look up my sum of sales minus one. 
Okay, one more. Missing a. Let's see, I'm missing here. Oh, I already have that, right. Okay. So hit okay. Put this on tooltip. So now, like, we could look at something crazy like this. Like, how the heck did we get to 13,000% growth? Well, we had $31 in sales uh, last year, and then 4,212 this year. So a huge increase, right? Whereas, like, how do we go down 100%? Well, we went from $0 to, or $122 to $0. Okay? So that gives you an idea of how you can do an equivalent day comparison um, for an entire year, looking at this year versus last year, and not just comparing to the exact same calendar day, but comparing to the equivalent weekday um, from last year. So like I said, I'm going to flip over to the screen now. Uh, I've got the steps written out. I've got the calculations written out. Um, and then you, of course, have this video to be able to kind of use as a guide and a walkthrough for this as well. So uh, I hope this is super helpful. Uh, this was one of the more kind of complex uh, videos I've put together from a kind of a calculating and number of steps standpoint. But uh, yeah, I hope there's a number of you out there that this helps. And even if you will never use this, uh, I think there's still some good lessons to be learned here about the uh, power of table calculations and how they allow you to do things like reference values which maybe aren't visibly present in the view because you filtered them out with a table calculation filter but are still there for the purpose of being able to calculate against them so thanks for following along uh maybe our longest video ever uh, at least it wasn't a webinar i appreciate you taking the time and we'll look forward to catching you on another video here soon